So uh, we're going to pull up a template, and we're going to first kind of explain how this works. Um, so this is Daisy Duck. Now, by the way, as she opens this template, what's done before we open this is a nurse has roomed the patient, has entered vital signs, um, and, uh, and by the way, labs from, say, three months ago, um, uh, they come right across. We don't have to, I mean, we never manually enter labs. Those labs are already uh, sent from Quest Lab, which we usually use, that will, in, that syncs with our records so that that already populates the chart. And so uh, as you look here uh, for, uh, for Daisy, here's our vital signs. Um, by the way, this little alert thing we created so that we'd have a big, bold no reminder not to miss that high blood pressure, which I frequently was doing. And so we, we reprogrammed the system ourselves, which is, like Dr. Mullen said, that's part of the power is you can quickly adapt to fit your style. Um, so here's our vital signs now. So we've got a 71-year-old female who presents for follow-up of di type 2 diabetes. We can document, uh, let's say she's had a diabetes for 20 years, or actually, you know, 15 years of, or 11 years, about I guess, 11. whatever. How about 11? Uh, <laughs> and uh, we can document, uh, she has uh, some polyuria, uh, no polydipsia, uh, no chest pain, no, no uh, paresthesis. And by the way, if you look here, when you tap on this or click with your mouse, that turns this inactive yes into a yes. And so if you can click on weight change, the yes there, when she clicks there, it becomes yes. Now, if you, th just, so, just so you understand how this works, this DEL stands for delete. If you choose not to put anything under paresthesias here, when you sign off on the note, that, is gonna, that whole line will go away. So you don't have to be forced to answer every single question as you go along. You pick and choose as a, as a provider which one is clinically relevant. So by the way, let's mention that uh, Daisy has been uh, not, uh, she's been checking her blood sugar about three times a day. Um, and uh, Control Z, very important. <laughs> if you make a mistake, control Z. Right? Uh, and uh, we can document what are fa that are fasting acu checks and the fasting glucose is ranging in the 120s. Um, as you can see here, automatically when we open this diabetes note, it pulled in the last hemoglobin A1C. You no longer have to sit there thumbing back through the chart to find that last A1C that was misfiled. Um, also, it pulls in our last cholesterol readings, the last BMP, our microalbumin, retinal exam, when it was ordered, if it was done, it would show the date that it was done. And again, this is all the behind the scenes stuff that's working for you as a provider. And a diabetic visit for me that used to take 25 minutes and I felt like I was missing things now takes me 10 minutes and I feel like I'm doing much better quality care because I have a quick assessment of uh, whether the pneumofax is up to date, whether their last, when was their last influenza? Clicking on the thing. Oops, <laughs> You're I am. Clicking on thing. Wrong thing. Um, and, uh, Social history, it's going to automatically pull in that they're a smoker, and I don't have to ask them again if they are. I already know that. Um, and uh, here's our whole medication list that automatically came in. You don't have to dictate a med list anymore. Uh, your allergy profile. Mm -hmm. um, if they started smoking, you can also just update that they started smoking. So correct. If you hit obtain smoking like status, that will change that line uh, to, uh, you, you can, can say, can current smoker it. or whatever. Um, you can document side effects to medications. Now here's our exam. Let's, let's demo some of this exam. So if we click here on uh, skin, uh, it's gonna, you can reset that to say, and so for, we, for us, we've chosen to say no rash or prominent lesions. If you click skin CA, that's more comprehensive skin exam. And now you have a lot more ability to document if you want to. Um, now usually for a diabetic, we're not doing that. We're mainly focused on, on cardiovascular exam and then a foot exam. Let's do a diabetic foot exam abnormal. Um, there's the normal one. Now, if it's abnormal, we can document uh, that there's no cyanosis, but, uh, but there's absent monofilament testing on the right side, and, uh, and so on and so forth. By the way, this little H thing tells a part of the health maintenance section that we did a foot exam, and that's what's going to communicate various aspects of the chart. We'll get down to, oops, uh, I need to get out of rid of that. Sorry, we're going to have to listen to music again. My, my apologies. <laughs> if you look at here, the assessment, we uh, have preset uh, diagnoses that we can click on. So if you click on uh, type 2 diabetes, uh, uncontrolled, uh, we can say hyperlipidemia, which is controlled, um, and uh, so on and so forth. You can mention that there is a note, you, you, when you ask, you find out that there's peripheral or, or that the, the ophthalmologist said they've got retinopathy. You can document that as part of that as well. 
Now when you come down to plan, we can either say continue current meds or we can change. Uh, you can order immunizations right from this template. Uh, and by doing that, you send a message to your medical assistant when you sign up on the note that, hey, come in and do a Pneumovax. And that will all, again, I'm not having to jump around in multiple areas of the chart. This is all in one note. And uh, you can uh, um, go over to say that you discuss treatment goals. Um, we can ask them to Accu do AccuCheck twice a day or BID to follow up in three months or uh, whatever we decide. And then when you sign the note, we'll, we're, we're going to demonstrate what the ac note actually looks like. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look to see, uh, get a sense of what the note actually looks like. Because who, who's been in the situation where you get to receive a note from a consult consultant and you get four pages from an EHR that is just garbage, you know, and there's about this much that's relative to you. Mm -hmm. We've all seen that. I don't, with Practice Partner, it's not that, and you have a lot more flexibility to, to document a concise note that actually is clinically relevant and pertinent. So this is what the note's going to look like uh, in its finished form. It's going to have all those things we mentioned. Some of the things we decided not to click on went away automatically because we didn't choose to document that. Um, all, the, all these little things, all these little um, numbers go, those Green numbers, those are coding numbers, and they go away when you print the note. So Correct. when you send it to somebody, those aren't going to be little P's on the end of the line. So. And uh, there's our, our exam, our assessment, our plan, and so forth. And then uh, our, uh, our, our code that we use is right there. So if you need to reference that, you've already saved that as part of your note. Um, so that's a, that's a diabetic visit. And I, again, the power to me is that I'm doing more efficient care, and I'm doing it rapidly. And, uh, and I'm uh, getting paid for what I do. Practice Partner comes with templates and we, you can tweak and modify them to fit your style should you need. And that's, that's one of the things that I love about it. You know, what, coming from NextGen in residency, what I hated about NextGen is I couldn't, I felt like I had a specific way that I could document and it was so inflexible for me to change anything about that. And I hated looking at the notes that I was sending out to specialists, uh, you know, imagining that uh, you know, it was just this impersonal documentation that I had no control over. Um, and uh, that's what I love about Practice Partners. You can quickly adapt it to fit your style and your verbiage or w the way that you document a physical exam. And it really is easy to uh, change, change that. Um, you know, we could, that skin uh, CA or that skin, instead of saying ra no rash or prominent lesion, you could say, I want it to say this. And in, in about 10 seconds, you can go to that area, change what that quick text or that little file says, and then whenever you check, check on it in the future, it's going to say that. And so that's what I love about it is you can quickly adapt it to fit your needs. One of the things I hated before EHR was getting that, oh, Mrs. Jones, she's out in the lobby. She forgot to ask for a note for work, or uh, can she get out of school today or whatever. And it's like, oh, great. How do you, you know, write those kind of things? Or can I get a do letter for jury duty? Uh, and so we have, we, you can quickly set up some, here's our jury duty letter that goes right to our, that we can just, uh, so it automatically says, I am writing on behalf of Daisy because, and she is, because of her chronic medical or psychiatric issue, we'd like to excuse her. You sign your name, print. The thing that used to take me, you know, uh, 10 minutes thinking about it takes 30 seconds, you know. Printing a note for a kid who needs a note for school. I don't, you know, now I smile instead of cringe because it, 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 there's no time at all. And my assistants can print it out. It has my signature scanned in, in fact. 